Good evening YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all having a festive week, enjoying Christmas and you're all looking forward to the new year. I know I'm very much looking forward to 2019, however, there's so many good memories from 2018 that we must relive before we move on. My season started off really early in January. I had two contests. The first of those was White Star, which is an FMB World Tour Gold event. And that is a contest that takes place on the snow. It's as gnarly as it sounds. It's steep, it's slippery, big jumps and freezing cold. It was my second time there, so I thought, oh, you know what? I'll have a little bit of experience. I know what to expect. Didn't help one bit. It was still as scary, still as gnarly. Unfortunately, that event was canceled, which meant we jumped to the next one, which was Air to the Throne taking place at the London Bike Show. It's funny because White Style and Air to the Throne couldn't actually be more contrasting events they tried. One's on a steep, slippy, cold ski slope, the other's in a flat, warm hall, and the jumps are tiny. I took a seventh place, which I was satisfied with considering I didn't get the runs that I planned, and it was just a real eye opener to me out to how high the level would be for that season because every rider there was capable of winning, and it's so good to see that level of progression in our sport. Whilst riding these contests, I was also battling the UK winter, which is not an easy task if any of you have tried it, because I wanted to release my new Halo Wheels um, Welcome to the Team edit. I was working with Joe Simpkins, we've worked on a lot of different projects together over the years and they've all been successful. And I tell you what, it was such a nice change to film and edit where you spend a lot of time on the filming and riding. Everything these days is a vlog format and it's all very raw, sort of in the moment. Um, it meant that me and Joe could really push that element, the filming and the riding, including this line, which is about to come on now, it took me over four hours to land, but the feeling was sick and it was worth every moment. Just as we finished the Halo Wheels video and Joe was putting it all together, Sam Perrigan had loaded the bus up and it was time to jump on board as we was off to Switzerland for the Swatch Rocket Air Contest. As a kid growing up, this was my favourite contest and as a rider, it's my favourite contest I've ever been to. It's basically, it's an FMB gold event and the biggest names in slope stuff from all over the world gather in a small town called Toon and compete on the sick course that's laid out in front of us. It's also a cool one because we got to spend some time in Zurich riding the airbag landing, there's the dirt park in town, the biggest pump track in Europe, there is a sick skate park and there's even a cool e-bike track called the Uttleberg Trail. Basically, at Swatch Rocket Air in 2017, I reached the top 10, which was my best result ever. So, going into it this year, I had high expectations of myself and I didn't want to disappoint. Sam Pilgrim in second place and Belgium Thomas Janone in third place. Another Brit. Rounding off the pack. Tom, let's see what you have. 360 one foot can off the step down. Diversity in that one, backflip, tail whip, and a beautiful. If Tom is able to rival it, I was an opposite 360 into a cork 720 on the hip jump, tail whip, 360 tail whip, and a flare finishing off for Tom Cardi. That is definitely going to be an improvement from his first run's 65.7 score. Little did I know that would be my last contest of the year, which was a real shame. Um, however, it wasn't long before we were loading the bus back up again as we were off to Eurobike, which is in Germany. On the way, we stopped at Winterberg, which is such a good bike park. Um, I would really recommend to any of you that have never been anywhere like that to just book it up. Be the first thing you do of 2019 because it, you won't regret it. It's so much fun. <laughs>
left Eurobike, the guys carried on through from Germany into Austria and I got the plane out of Zurich back to the UK because my son was about to get really busy with shows, which I love doing. I'm lucky enough to go all around the UK, Scotland, Wales, Ireland, Guernsey, Isle of Wight, all the Channel Islands around England, performing stunt displays to younger audiences, families. Um, yeah, I love it because it's inspiring. You. People see it firsthand and it makes people want to ride. People speak to you after, they're stoked on what they've seen. And we've got a little track that the kids try and every show it's always rammed. There's kids wanting to get on bikes and that's really important to me. It's what got me into riding. I saw the Animal Bike Tour back in the day with Martin Ashton and Blake Sampson and decided that's what I wanted to do. Lucky enough, I'm now my, van, my name is on that van and I ride in that show. So if I can send people away with the same feeling that they gave me, then I've achieved something. And that's what I spent my summer doing. As the show season drew to a close, that didn't matter because the next exciting thing on the cards, me and Sam have booked to go to Las Vegas to film a How I See It video. Now, this is my first time in the States. I've wanted to go to America for a long time and it certainly just didn't disappoint. We had a whole week of just riding bikes, shredding street, skate park, drainage ditches. We had supercars and we were just in Las Vegas. Conor McGregor was fighting at the same time, so all the hype of that was going on. And it was just a dream trip. I couldn't believe I was on it. So thank you very much for that one, Sam. It's not a trip that I'll forget. I'm just gonna let the clips do the talking because that was just, it was unreal. <laughs> final key moment for me of 2018 was when myself and Cara decided to go to Valencia to get some sunshine, get some good riding in, film some cool videos and watch the final MotoGP race of the season. The weather was, however, debatable. It was pretty poor to be honest. We had a lot of rain, but we still managed to get one good day riding in. The racing was good and yeah, we got some cool clips. Before we sign off this year and move on to 2019, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to you guys, the viewers, for all your views, your comments, reading back your comments saying that I've inspired you to ride or helped you out of a tutorial means a lot to me and that is one of my biggest goals with the channel is to help you guys out. So keep it up guys and keep shredding your bikes because that's what it's all about. Before we move on to 2019, I'm going to play a montage of my favourite clips. So happy new year to all of you and I'll see you guys in 2019.